hi everyone in today's video i am going to show you how to find the course and distance made good without actually doing anything on a chart so you don't need to use chart work but basically the principles of the nautical mathematics to find out the course and distance made good so the only drawing we'll be doing is uh, today drawing on uh, this uh, particular screen now we'll not be using any kind of uh, paper charts or electronic charts all right so the question is that uh, there is a vessel that is steering 072 degrees true at 10 nautical miles per hour remember that that's very important and there is a current that is setting at 100 degrees true at 5 nautical miles again this is per hour which is very important you have to find your course made good to the nearest degree of course that means that keep it to a whole number not in a decimals because we don't steer courses in decimals isn't it and then the distance covered as well so the distance made good if the vessel sails for three and a half hours so remember this is very important here to understand that the speed of the vessel and the current's rate is given at per hour but you have to find the course made good and the distance covered if the vessel sails for three and a half hours all right so let's uh, start firstly by drawing a diagram so we don't use a chart of course but we'll draw a diagram and this is the most critical part of you uh, understanding this question and then being able to solve it all right so here is a vessel so draw big diagrams on your paper so that you can understand what's happening here so this is a vessel that is sailing 072 degrees so say this is the north this is the south this is the west and east if you are sailing 072 degrees something like this let's say all right 072 degrees that means that angle of 072 degrees i will use a different color pen is measured from here to here is 072 degrees it's measured clockwise from the north pole or the north direction all right that is 072 degrees so that is your vessel's course that it is steering and we will draw the diagram for one hour only the triangle that we will draw will be for one hour and the values that we can find will then be multiplied by three and a half hours so the triangle that we will draw is for one hour remember that now the course made good doesn't matter if you draw the triangle for one hour or three and a half hours it remains the same you don't have to multiply it by three and a half hours but the distance that you will find out in this case will be for one hour because we are drawing a one hour triangle and you will multiply it by three and a half hours to find the distance covered in three and a half hours let's see how so i am going to draw a one hour triangle because the information given to us is one hour this is what we also do in chart work all right so if we are drawing a one hour triangle that means the vessel is drawing a course of 0 0.72 degrees as measured clockwise from the north pole and you are doing uh, or not you but your vessel basically is doing 10 knots an hour 10 knots per hour that is the speed of the vessel now let's say this is up the, the the line that i have drawn and uh, is 10 knots if we were drawing it to scale it would be and it was one centimeter equals one nautical mile it would be 10 centimeters but we don't worry about that because we are going to use maths we are not using drawing so this line that i have drawn denotes the 10 nautical miles that the vessel has uh, steamed in the last one hour then again you can draw here uh, like a plus sign because i'm going to apply the current now so the current that i will apply and i will just take different i will just use different colored pens so that you understand what's going on here so remember the current is setting at 100 degrees true so it will setting at 100 degrees true so currents normally come from and winds go to so current is coming from 100 degrees true something here like this all right this is 100 degrees true now why is this 100 degrees true because again if i call this north i measure out this angle here this angle is 100 degrees true so this is 100 degrees true 90 degrees is from north to east and then further from east going towards south we have another 10 degrees so total is 100 degrees and current is a setting denoted by triple arrows is setting from 100 degrees true and the one the hourly rate is five knots remember that we are only drawing for one hour of a triangle so when we are drawing for one of a triangle so this blue line denotes the five knots the black line denotes 10 knots and then what i will do is i will join this 
point to this point here and this double arrows will be denoting the course made good the course made good because the current is acting on the current course this distance that we find this distance is of course distance made good we can call it dmg distance made good but this is for one hour only all right the course made good that you will find will be for three and a half hours although we are using the one hour triangle the course made good you don't have to multiply by three and a half hours only the distance that you find from this triangle is applicable for one hour so this distance made good will be multiplied by three and a half hours to find the distance covered in three and a half hours because that's what they are asking you to find all right but before we do that let's understand this triangle here so this triangle i have explained how the 72 degrees is measured and how 100 degrees is measured and the black line denotes 10 knots the black line with the single arrow denotes 10 knots and the blue line with triple arrows denotes denotes five knots all right so uh, now let's see what else we can find out now because this angle here is 72 degrees that you can see this angle here and this angle here this angle here are called complementary angles so because it is like a it's like a parallelogram if you think about it so if i uh, if i kind of you know if i had drawn it like this here if i draw it like a parallelogram uh, these red dotted lines it becomes like a parallelogram right it's like a rectangle and parallelogram so in this case here and if you don't understand this concept don't worry about it just take my word for it that in this case here this becomes uh, like uh, this becomes like a what we call the word is complementary angle that means that angle and this angle here is the same so if these two angles are the same then we call we number this 72 degrees as well all right this is 72 degrees now this angle here from e going to south denoted by blue is 10 degrees why because north to east is 90 degrees from east to south is 10 degrees together it's 100 degrees that's why the 100 degrees was the current that was setting right but this 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 part here is 10 degrees only right if this part is here is 10 degrees and from east to south total is 90 degrees that means this angle here that i should probably draw with a different color pen this angle here this angle here the blue the black part will be 90 minus 10 which is 80 degrees all right so if i can if i can explain this so again so 72 degrees is forming a complementary angle here so this becomes 72 degrees now look at the um, angle between east to south now the 10 degrees of that is already been used for the current so the remaining 80 degrees between east to south is then forming this 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 angle here right so we've got 72 degrees and 80 degrees that means the total angle that i have measured here the total angle is 80 plus 72 which is 152 degrees all right so if i have to zoom in and i have to show you what i mean this is what i mean so this north to east is 90 degrees there was another 10 degrees that you took up because you were trying to measure out a total of 100 degrees of current being set right so the remaining angle here from east to south the remaining angle is of course 80 degrees 90 minus 80 all right and then the other angle that you measured was 72 so the total angle will be 72 plus 80 which is 152 degrees so we consider this to be a triangle about which we know only a few things and we have to find out the rest so if i really zoom into this triangle or if i have to highlight what this triangle is all about it's this is a triangle like this all right this is a triangle like this this is the triangle we are trying to solve so do you have found out this angle here as 152 degrees which is 72 plus 80 this is 10 this is 5 and that's all you know you don't know anything else so if i call this a b and c this is all you know we don't know anything else so the sides can be called so the side opposite b i can call it small b the side opposite c i can call it small c and just denote it with a line through it just to differentiate between the angle c and the side c and the side a will be opposite to angle a and i denote it with a small letter a so that i can distinguish between the angle and the side all right 
so now we will use the principle of SAS triangle what is SAS SAS stands for side angle side side angle side all right how does this work for this to work if we know the included angle and the sides next to it we can find out the rest of the parts so that means i know the angle b and i know the sides next to angle b which is side c and side a so i can work out the rest of it so how will i work out the rest of it well the formula is goes like this so let's say you have cos b here that you know which will be equal to a square side a square plus side c square minus b square all right divided by 2 a c that's the formula we will be using as per the side angle side principle so in this case you know cos b cos b is cos of 152 degrees you know a square is 5 square plus c square is 10 square you don't know b square so i have to find out b square that's the unknown and then you have 2 times 5 times 10 all right now we have to solve this so let's find out what is cos 152 so cos of 152 degrees is equal to if i take up to three or four or five decimal places it's negative 0 0.88294 all right five score is 25 plus 10 square is 100 minus b square i'm doing it in steps so that you understand it and then two times five times ten is hundred now i take this to the other side this is transposition so when i take this to the other side i multiply it so negative 0 0.88294 multiplied by 100 and this 25 plus 100 is 125 minus b square all right so this multiplied by 100 gives me a negative of 88.294 which is equal to 125 minus b squared now what i will do i will try to make the unknown positive so i will bring it on this side here and i will take this number here and take it to the other side so i will take my knowns to one side all the numbers that i know and the unknowns on the left hand side so unknown comes on the left hand side becomes a positive number b square and this becomes 125 plus 88.294 so now it becomes a positive number it's no longer a negative 88.294 so that means b square equals 213.294 or b equals square root of 213.294 square root or uh, we call it underscore sorry under square under square i can't i can't remember <laughs> i've forgotten so it's called square and square root yes i think it's called square root correct i'm just confusing myself so in your calculators just press the button of square root put the number 213.294 and you will get the answer as b equals 14.6 all right so b equals 14.6 now in this case we will call this side b 14.6 now remember this 14.6 is the distance made good in one hour in one hour but you have to, because this was a one hour triangle now if you want to find the distance made good in three and a half hours which is the question here all you have to do is basically distance made good in three and a half hours you just take this number 14.6 and multiply it by three and a half and the answer you will get is 51.1 uh, nautical miles so you have traveled 51.1 nautical miles is the distance made good in three and a half hours so one part of the question is done now i have found out b now the one that i have found out is course made good now to find course made good basically remember to find course made good you have to find this angle here going up to north this angle the big angle here this is the course made good measured clockwise from the north pole or the northern hemisphere or the north direction you have to measure it clockwise so that blue angle here now you already know 72 degrees so if you just find out this angle here you can just add to 72 degrees and it will give you the course made good right so this angle is course made good sorry course made good cmg course made good you already know 72 degrees and then if you just find out the portion in the triangle if you just find out the small portion in the triangle that is angle a if you find out angle a in this triangle you can just add to 72 degrees and find the answer 
so how do i find out angle a again use the side angle side principle now now you know side c as well as side b and side a so if you know three sides as well you can find out the rest of the part so this will be cos of a so let's put it in the formula here cos of a is the angle and then the sides which are next to a which will be b square plus c square minus the side opposite to a square of the side opposite to a a square divided by 2 b c all right divided by 2 b c a, sorry divided by 2 uh, b c that's right divided by 2 b c so because yeah correct all right so that means that uh, we have we don't know cos a so we have to find out cos a so b square is 14.6 square very good plus c square is 10 square a square is 5 square divided by 2 times 14.6 times 10 All right so the answer you will get is of course 14.6 square if you do that you get 213.16 plus 100 minus 25 divided by this is equal to 20 times 14.6 so I'm just doing the question as as with you 292 so this is remember this is cos a you have not yet found a here so cos a equals if I add the two 213.16 plus 100 minus 25 I get 288.16 divided by 292 is equal to 0 0.98684 so a will be equal to cos inverse of 0 0.98684 so shift cos inverse you will get the answer a equals 9.3 degrees now a is degrees not nautical miles it's an angle so this is 9.3 degrees now if this is 9.3 degrees and i know that for this part here is 72 degrees right this is 72 degrees then course made good will be 72 course made good as per this diagram here would be 72 plus 9.3 degrees which is equal to 81.3 degrees now because we don't steer courses like in decimals so the, here the answer will be 81 degrees 081 degrees true as measured clockwise from the north hemisphere is the course made good all right so watch this video carefully label the triangle carefully only the first part is a bit tricky where you are trying to find the complementary angle and the uh, other part of the uh, angle and then you are trying to add them this this finding this part is the trickiest part but just watch this carefully and hopefully you will get it i will try to put up more examples if i can but uh, watch this part and let me know if there are any questions uh, put it in the comment section and i will try my best to answer them as i can thank you very much for watching this video and uh, bye for now